Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, you'll see a brief overview of the Cloud PM Rates module. We've designed Cloud PM's Rates module for functionality and flexibility, with numerous options that allow you to create and manage rates that best fit your hotel. Like other Cloud PM modules, we start with an easy to use search window. Search results can be arranged in various ways. The Rate Information view has a ribbon bar at the top and various options below. These options can be used with any type of rate, so I'll go over them one by one. These two, of course, are the rate code and a short description. Here's where we link the rate to a market segment. Rates can post to whatever accounting code you wish using this field. At our sample hotel, all rates post to the RM code, but your hotel may have other codes. This checkbox designates the rate as confidential. In other words, it's a net rate that we don't want to reveal to the guest. If you're no longer using a rate code, inactivate it by marking this box. The Tax Exemption tool lets you mark a rate code as tax exempt, like this rate for the Red Cross. Down here is where we specify the travel agent commission as either a percentage or a flat dollar amount or no commission. Hotels that accept multiple currencies must indicate which currency is being used to build this rate. If desired, you can build a length of stay requirement right into the rate code instead of creating it separately in booking rules. Finally, you can control the order the rates are displayed throughout Cloud PM using this Display Order tool. Now let's take a look at some of the different rate types we can create. One of the most common is a rate that's based off another rate, such as this AAA rate at 10% off rack. We call these dynamic rates. Did you notice this radio button? That's right, we can also have rates that add instead of discount. It's easy to set up rates that post a different amount on each day of the stay, like this buy one get one rate. You can also build rates that change based on the day of the week. This rate takes the usual weekday weekend rate a step further, with a small increase on Thursdays, peaking Fridays and Saturdays, then falling way down for Sundays. Rates with fixed amounts, like RAC or our two previous examples, are referred to as plan rates in Cloud PM. If your hotel uses Cloud PM's rate tiering option, you can set rates to increase or decrease automatically based on occupancy level. Each rate code can be independently configured with its own occupancy tiers, whether the rate goes up or down, as well as the amount the rate will change. Extended stay rates are another option at some hotels. Here we have an example of a weekly rate. This rate will post as a lump sum on day one of each week rather than daily. The guest will be flagged for payment every seven days. This rate can be offered for stays as short as five. And if a guest stays over a few days, Cloud PM will post the additional days at rack. For more detailed information about how to use the various rate tools, please view our other videos addressing specific rate topics. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.